tell you what, that was a nice little guest house. Oh, I've had it slept really, really well. So where are we going? Battles Bridge, I think. Battles Bridge. Yes. Sounds very military. Nerd base. Nerd base, that was it. Yeah, I'm doing all this from memory. My memory's pants. I you know, you're doing right. really well. <laughs> Dutch Shop on Tour, the new TV series that takes you, dear viewer, all around the country as me and Gav buy as many toys as we possibly can and pop them in this van. Over 30 shops in the UK. Action figures, dolls, Star Wars, weird stuff, Transformers, aliens, Thundercats, bootlegs, He-Man. From all the way down south to all the way up north, east, west, Wales and Scotland, we're covering it all. We'll have rare items and small favourites. So join me, Joe, Gav and Matt the cameraman as we take this Toy Shop on Tour. So we've been in Hearn Bay, which is on the southeast coast of England, uh, and we're travelling up to Essex. So about an hour and a half drive, and we'll be arriving at Nerd Base. I wonder why it's called Nerd Base. Most of the shops on the trip we've kind of, we know a little bit about. Yeah, we've known the, uh, the We've owners. known the owner or... Yeah. But this one we don't, and I'm, I'm kind of... Somebody started telling me about it, went, no, 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 no. Let's, let's let wanna, it be a surprise. I want to keep it quiet. I'm very excited today, I've got that sort of... I said last night, didn't I? I said, I can't wait for to I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And it's already here. Amazing place. There's like three antique centres just in this space. Look at that castrol sign. So here we are in what I've already, this is the <laughs> most excited I've been for like all the week and a bit because you just drive in and there's antiques places, well, there's old stuff everywhere. There was we saw old car. Drove around, Morris Minor flew around the corner. We've only just got that room at the end of last year, um, just before second lockdown here. Um, so we had to open it up and then sadly we had to close but thankfully because we've got such a supportive community they, they kept it running and then yeah you'll see how amazing it is L literally we knocked that hole through we've got a whole new room and that's not all we are expanding again we're excited already yeah. so come on Gav let's get stuck in yeah. 3D Robocop display it actually I've never seen one in real life it actually does display very well when you see them on the internet, they don't look nearly as good. But that's it. That's why you've got to get out to these shops. You've got to see all these things in real life. And they look so much better. <laughs> Just loads of stock. It's a big shop as well, and it's going to be even bigger. This, this will be. We thought yesterday we'd topped it, but I think this one is actually going to be bigger once it's got all the expansion in. And it's full. There's stuff everywhere. I mean, that's, that's what's good about it. There's tons of stuff in here. So and a massive array of stuff. It's not just like, yeah. oh, there's a load of Star Wars. It's just there's a, a load of He-Man. There's a load of everything. Sensory overload. You're just there going, wow, there's this, and then there's this, and then there's, and I don't even know where to start. Little uh, Cabbage Patch Kid section. Got all the uh, little carded Cabbage Patch Kid jewelry. <clears throat> Great stuff. Matt, Matt, come over here. Loads of really nice 80s and 90s Lego. And it's reasonably priced. It's all very affordable. And it's really nice quality as well. That piece on its own there, that's an expensive bit. That's always broken. Not so on this example. We're going into the, uh, the new area that isn't released yet. Access Matt, I'll let you go up first. <laughs> Toy Shop on Tour World first. <laughs> There's still a lot of work to be done. You see the new comic book and manga and graphic novel section so this is awesome this is a huge space i believe this is the biggest so far there's us doing our little basement <laughs> and there's this happening look at the gaming area yeah we do like um tournaments up here sofas so we do like uh, n64 playstation like tournaments and ace this stuff you can buy something really modern and i mean impressive or you can buy something old I love Viewmasters, Tomatronics that side. I found this alongside the Tomatronics and it's from 97, so it's not that old, although you say that. It's like 20, what, 24 years old now. Uh, talking 3D Viewmaster. Now, you're all used to the usual big clunky red ones, but they've streamlined it. 
added some electronics like they always do. But this one is from Batman and Robin, the animated series. So for me, that is a gem. Let's have a go, let's see how it looks. Oh, and it works. It's just exactly the same as a Viewmaster. Got to get some batteries in there and uh, yeah, get that working. I'm going to be taking this home with me today. That's great. So we've seen the new stuff upstairs. We've seen the new expanded area. It's going to be huge, but I really want to get back downstairs to those cabinets and look at those items and see what sort of deal that Craig and Ryan can do for us. Uh, I think he did shoot first. Look at that. Right, that's a definite piece for me. Starcom, Star Max Bomber, and look, it's the colour. That's why I want to buy that. The colour's good, it's not gone yellow. I need to go and see the man. Ray, can we have a look at the Star Max Bomber, please? There you go. Very good. It's got the bombs. It hasn't got a pilot, but the colour is fantastic. This is a toy that is normally it, normally they look like they've been stored on the surface of the sun. So one of my friends has taken to getting these when they're really yellowed and, and painting them up. And they look fantastic actually. There's some all different colours and they've got like this fleet. But this is really, really nice. Not quite complete, but the hardest bit of this is the colour. You've got a very reasonable £50 on that, Craig. <laughs> I'm going to buy it anyway because I can't sell myself short, but would you be able to do anything on the price? Why would I do it for now? <laughs> I've already told you I'm going to buy it. So, I mean, if you can do anything on the price, great. But, you know, if you can't, don't worry about it. That's a weird way of haggling that, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> I'm going to buy it anyway. <laughs> well, it's just how I think I it's very reasonable. But 45 would be more reasonable, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, I would do 45. Oh, what a star. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Look at that, it's great. Bit of a clean up and that'll look fantastic. Thanks very much, Craig. That's my first deal of the day. So you keep returning here, Gav. I don't, this, this little area, I quite like it because it's sort of like, it's kind of like the figures no one really wants. <laughs> but that's what happens. It's the figures that no one wants that some of them eventually come through and are the most collectible. So, the Men in Black, how cool is this figure? But there's so much hate for the Men in Black toy line. I love it, I think it's great. I mean, look at him. How cute is that? Maybe it's 12. Hang on, what we got here? Oh, look. Bo Peep. Nursery home character. Oh, Big Bad Wolf. Oh, hang on, hang on. She's back, the Caramel Bunny. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look, she's there. Uh, she's checking out her appearance. She knows it. <laughs> oh, they're great. I just picked one of them up the other day. And I, I think they're both completely different to the one I had the other day. Oh, going down a strange route now with this collecting. I think Bo Peeps are definite. See, this is what I like. Like, where are you going to see that? Where are you going to see this stuff? You're not. You're never going to see this stuff anywhere. You can see it here. These are cool as well. Oh, Adhesive tape. Hey, that's great. <laughs> How much is that? Five pounds. From your five pound, you can have your Raphael. That's tape. fantastic. <laughs> see, this is the kind of thing I, I love like. it. I'm, I'm yeah? the same. We've got. Spitballs, turtle spitballs for that 18 foot squirt. All four. Tell you what, you know, they are fantastic. And there's more, there's like just a whole load of them. Oh, how great are they? Oh, there's loads of weird stuff under here. When Turtles was first here, I mean, there was a load of bootleg copies of the movie out there. And all the kids wanted turtle stuff, and all that was around was called like fairground bootleg bits. But then eventually, boom, everything. Well, you know, tape, <laughs> plates, we've got little plates, badges, party cups, because there'd be turtle themed kids' parties. Oh, these are like, oh, these are great. These are weird little rollerball ball bearing turtles. Look at that little shredder. 
Look how cool this is. Like, uh, We've actually got so, like, a box for them. Craig, you've already told me you've got loads of these. Craig's gonna do me a good deal on this, I'm sure. 40 pounds. 40 pounds. I think there's 12 or Oh man, 15 pounds. I don't know where they're gonna go. We'll have to hang on your feet, somewhere. obviously, Gav. <laughs> Excellent. Right, this is a Meccano version. Um, Dennis Fisher also made 12 inch figures, as did Kenner, as did Palitoy. I do like a Meccano one. It's a good price. I think I need to see him out of the box. Really nice, clean figure. Like he's lying in state. Here lies Ben. Um, let's give him a cuddle for a minute. Correct yellow sabre, because the Luke has the blue one. We may have to have a chat with him about that, because I think there's a little bit of money left in that. I'm going to ask you the question that you hate, Craig. Yeah. You've got 180 on him. That's a. I'm going to stick. I'm sticking with you're that. You're sticking at 180 yeah, on that? 100%. Okay. Like, the, the figures are cool, like, but we always get figures. Whereas the 12 inch stuff and anything sort of random Star Wars. Like, I, even, I even like the. Uh, we had a load of like, Star Wars envelopes. Like, yeah, from the that 80s. Sort of stuff. I love They're that stuff. Time, and like yeah. laces and stuff like that. That's... Look at the buckets. Oh, dear. Oh, there you go, Gav. That's all you, mate. <laughs> so we need to have a little bit of a route through here. The problem is, and I've said this before, Oh, but there he is, the one, the guy. I've been looking for that guy. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> Amazing, the commentator. Have you found one, Gavin? I found one. I found the commentator. Amazing. <laughs> wow. There's a very happy man for £1.50. That's incredible. <laughs> Just straight in, boom, commentator. But it's really hard to tell, apart from him, which ones you've, you've already got. <laughs> you do realise people are going to think we planted that in there now. And no, that was genuine. That was a genuine find. Now, he's not the cleanest. He's got the old problems with the legs with it, as with the Thundercat. But price-wise, he's £100, which for a jargon nowadays is very reasonable. So we're going to clean him up when we get back, do something with him, and we're going to take him home. Blackstar figures. I mean, if you want to army build John Blackstar, <laughs> actually, I've got to say, you might like it, actually. Yeah. Craig's, Craig's just wandered off with the words, I've got something you might like. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to sell it, but I've never seen one. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, man. It is sealed, but the tape's sort of coming away. How much is that? I, I've never seen one. That's, that's cool. These used to be the cheaper end of the scale, but they just don't come up for sale very often. It's five, six years since I've seen one. Yeah, oh, yeah. At least. How much is this? I literally don't know. I don't really want to sell it because I've never seen one before. But Are you open to offers? Well, it depends what the offer is. I don't know either. Yeah. Because these don't come up. No. So I think now the card of figures start about 100 quid each and go up to sort of two on the standardy stuff. Mm. Basically, you've got three figures in here with the smaller ones, because they normally come as a twin yeah, pack. Yeah, yeah. That's 300 quid sound? No, no, <laughs> no. Okay. I'd rather keep it at 300 quid, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I know what you mean. It's such a cool piece. It is a cool piece, I've not seen one before. What's the money on it then? What's the, like what's there must the be back. a figure in the back which you kind of go, that's how much that's gonna be. Yeah. We know how much it's not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We found that out with that tester. I'm not going to be able to replace it, that's the thing. No, that's, not. that's what I, I, no, I, I I'll really freely like. admit yeah. you won't be able to replace it. Yeah. That's it. This is an amazing piece. For those that are Clep Blackstar, this is a, a very, very hard item indeed. The problem is there's not many Blackstar collectors. No, but the ones that are, yeah. this is one of the best pieces. If I was to put it out, I'd think, like you said, a hundred quid a figure, maybe like yeah. five. 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 And that would be my regret after. <laughs> so 500 pounds would buy this Black Star gift set. I don't know, viewers, what do you think? Would you buy it? I'm not sure I would. I don't know. Mm. 
The thing is, like you say, there's not many black star collectors, but for a black star collector to find that, you haven't seen one in six years. I haven't seen one, in, and that's at least yeah, six years. Least. Now I'm thinking about it, I think it's further back. Yeah. But also remember the price being a lot lower, but that was when black star figures were 30, 40 quid yeah, carded. Course, yeah. Whereas now, oh, the cheaper figures for some of the markets were made without the spark action on the back. If we look on the back of this box, we'll see the spark actions of the three main figures there. And they're very, very cool figures. I like them a lot. And this is a very rare opportunity to buy something very special I won't see every day. The problem is, is I don't know how much there is left in it after 500 pounds. Now, Craig, I'm at 300, you're at 500. Wonder where we go next. <laughs> what sort of, come on, we've got to do, I need to walk out with this. I love this. I need to keep it in the shop. So we're at a... <laughs> This is two toy dealers at a standoff. But too passionate to it. Yeah, definitely. See. I mean, I just clear the pop vinyls. Yeah. Put it on there, it's gorgeous. Is he going to regret it in the car? Am I going to regret selling it? Who knows? Find out. <laughs> I don't know. Regrets, I've had a few. Shh, I need to think, I need to think. I, I'll do the Simpsons thing where you just go like that into the, in, yeah. into the bush. Yeah, that's, I love that gift. Yeah. It's in your... Yeah, I know it is, but it's in your... I, but I'm batting it back. Four. Four and I'm a buyer. Four, five. That, that is. 45, that's cheap. It's come down a lot. It's come down a lot. So 450, 450 buys it. Yeah, that is yours. You do just tweak it a little bit. Give me something out of it. 425. Oh God, look at that. I know. I'm gonna, we're I both going to regret it either way. This is like. 430. 440. 440. That's it. Yeah. I'm not going to. 440 get... and. <laughs> 440. I've, I've, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. 440 pounds. What a purchase. It's just, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you've got to buy it. When you walked out with this, I was immediately like, oh, I've got to open that. I regret that. it already. Oh, do you want to give it a cuddle <laughs> no, before it cool. goes? That is like, that is, that's. We'll leave you some tissues. Oh. <laughs> Find him a good home. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, TikTok, which is nerdbase.co.uk, or just come in the shop. There's loads of hidden gems everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Guys. Nerdbase was bang average, wasn't it? I've had my mind blown. Literally. <laughs> it's fantastic. I was like running around like a kid. Craig and Ryan were awesome. Amazing. Really guys. good hosts. Really nice guys. And like, Craig had that love of the toys. He did, I... and it came through, right? Yeah. Yeah. Went from a businessman to a toy lover. Yeah. And then back to a businessman. Back to a businessman. <laughs> but it, for Satan, it's been going three years. Is that all? That's all. I'll tell you what, COVID. those guys, they're the guys to watch. They are definitely yeah. 110%. That is the best shop so far. No disrespect to the other shops because they've all been great. Yeah. In different ways. In as different well. ways. So, we're going to see Tony at Ray's Retro. Cool. Joe's looking for his wallet. We're hoping it's not on the counter of the last place we went to. Glove compartment. If anyone wants to steal Joe's wallet, you'll find it in the glove compartment. Not usually, I don't keep it there at home. <laughs> Put it in the microwave. Right then, raise retro. Raise retro, here we go, and there's a H one in the window, look at that. Oh, straight in. Nice How to you meet mate? you all. Nice to see you, mate. Good to see you. How are you? All good. We found Can you manage one? Matt, good hat. stuff. Matt, <laughs> Gav. Joe, good to meet you all. Good to meet you. I'm glad you got parked there as well. It's great. It's really nicely laid out. It's a good looking shop. Thank you, Trying to what maximise su space. Superman versus Muhammad Ali box set. You know what's really nice? You can see all the prices as well. We've got some classics, got some action force on the walls. Very nice. I love these little custom cards as well. They're great, they are. It's just trying to take one off the they peg. They look smart, don't they? Failing theft proof, apparently, as well. <laughs> well, really nice, a lot of attention to detail there. It looks apart. Classics, Pally Toy product, Action Force at the back here. And we've got on the telly, we've got strawberry shortcake out at the moment. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. Started in October. Wow. Um, 
and then we had the lockdowns of course but I knew they were coming yeah. as we all did um, so only really properly open since we was all allowed to open again in mid-April I think it was was it yeah so um, still all new to me still learning Still learning how to use my teal with my little sum up machine. And uh, <laughs> well, we, we never stop learning. when you've got a, a shop this sort of size, you've got to maximize space. And uh, yeah, but I love it. I love it. It's I now enjoy my working day. Yep, Ray was my dad. Yeah. Uh, lost him in June last year. Um, always went to toy fairs together, boot sales together since a little kid. You know, it was, uh, it was our thing. Um, always dreamed of a little shop together, but typically never did it, never made the step until I got made redundant and it's in his honour. Are you sure you've done be really proud of it? I hope so, I hope so, yeah. I'm going to get some buying done now, so I'm going to go and see what I can find, <laughs> see what I can buy. That's what it's all about. It is a Transformers Generation 1 Sunstreaker. That wasn't meant to happen. So in here we're looking for two fists, the two launchers and the three missiles. Box is nice, generation one box, 95 pounds on it, which is quite reasonable. Obviously it could be more reasonable. So with the Sunstreaker, it was the one that they lost the moulds for, so they're, not unable, they're unable to make this again. So these are generally always original and it's just a really nice condition. These are pl were played with, so that, and they're quite breaky. They do get broken easily. So common things you find that are missing are the spoiler, and obviously all the small parts. This one's complete. The stickers are fairly good, and the condition's there. A few. It's been lightly played with. Yeah, it's a nice example. Something that would look good in the shop. And with these marks on the box here, we can iron these out. We can get that looking really, really nice, um, and make a little bit more of it. What's good inside, what you don't often see, is the correct inner. That's one for us to have a chat with Tony about and see what he can do for us. Oh, look at this A-team thing here. Superman. Kenner, Kenner, I believe, yep. Very cool. So, Kenner, superpowers, 1984. Why would Superman need his own jet? Yeah, yeah, it's always bugged me. Yeah. But I might need Superman's jet <laughs> because it's cool. Look at it. How much is that, Tony? Uh, I have 20 on that. Um, same again. Happy to do you a deal. Brilliant, mate. Pop that in my pile, please, sir. What I have noticed in here, we've got the Fang helicopter. This is the kind of toy that I would, this would be what you got instead of like, maybe you had enough money for a figure, maybe you had slightly more. And if you had slightly more, you could buy yourself a mini rig or you could buy yourself one of these. Similar price point and, you know, these were great. But they were breaky. They did break really easy. Like a lot of helicopters, there's a lot to go wrong. So always when you're buying these, you want to check for any issues or any breaks. This one has got none of the usual telltale glue marks around the, the bottom here. And it looks to be in fine fettle. Am I right, Tony? You are. Yeah. Brilliant. You've got 30 pounds on that. Tony, I think that might be another one for my pile, sir. Quite often, we see the Burger King Dracula. We see him quite often. He's a great little figure. But we don't often see, or I don't often see, the 2003 KFC ones. Look at that face. He's a great looking vampire. And they've done him a bit greeny as well, which is unusual. I wonder if he glows. But also, a big Frankenstein. Look at him. He looks like the hammer Frankenstein. Five pounds each. So I'm going to take them. They're awesome. A giant turtle's cracker. What I really want to know is whether they will still go bang. There's badges in there, enamel badges. I think you get some masks in there as well. Um, yeah, yeah. How much are these, Tony? It's the colours. They're 15 pounds. But I tell you what, why don't we open one and see if it bangs? That's a great idea. Should we do it? Yes. Should we do it? Yeah? Sunstreaker is a lot more desirable than some of the other ones, in my opinion. You all seem to sell a Sunstreaker. You've got a Jazz in there as well. But the thing that attracts me to this is, well, the condition of the car is really good. You've also got the parts. You've got the instructions. You've got the inner. And with a Transformer, having the inner 
is half the battle. That's the good news. The bad news is you've priced it sort of okay-ish, mm -hmm. and I'd like to pay slightly less for it. Of course you would. What would you like to pay? Well, not a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've seen you at toy fairs. We might be able to get away with something here. Yeah. You've seen the dance. <laughs> Tony, I I'd be quite happy to pay £75 for it. Let's do it. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Wicked mate. I should have said 65 darling. <laughs> then I wouldn't have been happy to do it. Thanks, <laughs> Should we do it? Go for it. Moment of truth. Yes. Here we it. go. I don't know how strong we need to be for this, Gab. Here we go. You ready? Go for it. Oh, oh man. Man. At it's least it banged. That was good. Crashed. What we got? A mask by the look of it. What Should we got be badges there? in there as well. Three I've been, badges. Uh, I've been selling stuff for Four like, masks. <laughs> Ace. Well. I know the answer on. to my question. They do bang. Thank you very much, mate. Absolute pleasure. We will see you, uh, you see you soon, mate. That's you brilliant. Soon. And anything you need, if you need any help, give me okay. a call. Yeah. That's why we do it. <laughs> see you, chat. So here we are, In Demand Toys, Norwich. Nick, that runs in demand, is a bit of a ledge. Uh, he's been around the business for quite a long time. I have bought so much stuff in the past from in demand toys at shows. They're kind of they're one of the like the big events at shows. They have all the newest stuff. You can always get it there first. How are you doing, man? How's it going? All right, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Like the beard. Ages. Yeah, that's it's not, not a long. That's time. just unshaven. Is it? It's not a beard. Just today's. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you've got, you've got a team wolf issue? <laughs> <laughs> so we're in in demand toys, and we're with Nick. Hello. Who is an old stager, as far as I'm concerned. We've been around. Not as old as you. But... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've been around a while, um, selling really nice stuff, lots of new stuff. But you do, you, you've got your hand in vintage all the time as well, haven't you? Yeah, we don't have a huge amount of vintage on the website, but it's great to have it in store. Brings the customers in, and you know, every, it's different every time. Vintage for us is what we're all about. But at the same time. There's loads of modern pieces that I've just already walked in. I'm already sort of my eyes are everywhere looking mm -hmm. at new stuff and vintage. So, and of course, every line now, if it's Hasbro, has its retro line attached to it. Whether it's yeah. Ghostbusters, Power Rangers, obviously Star Wars, Transformers, yeah. um, G.I. Joe, um, everything's got its retro line now, even He Man from Mattel. Obviously, lines like Ghostbusters are always going to be a little bit smaller than, than Star Wars and that, but G.I. Joe's really taken off. Um, Power Rangers, if it's, certainly if it's Mighty Morphin, it's, it does incredibly well. Listen, we're going to have a look around, Nick, see cool. what we can find. No worries. Hopefully be able to buy a few bits, have a few deals, yeah. and uh, yeah. These are only available at Galaxy's Edge. And it's the big Star Wars theme park that Disney have done, and you basically go and exist in Star Wars. It's meant to be fantastic. I'll get there one day. But this is one of the water bottles pulled out what for some people is a total grail. This is a swoop. So out of the Dinobots, this one wasn't released here. You had all the rest of them, but this was the guy that evaded you. He's got a lot of wear to his chest here. He's only got one of his launchers, but he's a very reasonable 50 pounds. Definitely buying him. And I have got a better body at the shop. So we can, through the use of skills, transplant that head onto the better body that we've got at the shop and that will make a really nice swoop for someone. £15. I've got to put that on my, on my pile, it's worth it for the, for the box. I know it's missing the blades but you know we can make that work. Once again I found another Transformer. Megatron, not the nicest box in the world but it's a harder variant, it's an MB, Milton Bradley, so that makes it one that's got to go on the pile and see if we can have a chat about it. It's just a shame, the box is so close. Man, don't see it very I've only ever had one. Oh, echo, oh dear. Look at this, everyone. Wow. <laughs> this is, this is all of it. <laughs> this is all the new Star Wars stuff. It's slightly overwhelming, <laughs> to be honest. A lot of toys in one place. This is for everyone watching. No one gets to see this normally. Look at this, everyone. Piles and piles of modern stuff. So, you know, if you see it in this video, give in demand a call, because they'll have this on the shelves by then.
is a bag for you. <laughs> wow. Look at all that fun in there. Look at that. What are these my masters in the universe sort of weapons that made them the most tasty of all the weapons? But they were very tasty. Well, I'll ask the question, but I think the answer will be probably no. I know what my answer would be. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> We've found, out of one of those boxes, two Mego Star Trek figures. These are from the original sort of series, so these are 70s, all original. They have their communicators or comlinks, or whatever you want to call them. They're in nice shape. And I know people will be shouting at the TV telling me which one it was, but I, I can't remember everything or anything. So tell me about these pretenders, because I, I am not an expert, I just know that these are ones I haven't seen. Finback. Finback, yep. Iguanus. Iguanus is complete. And the other one, which and is one of my Bugly. Bugly, which is like He-Man name, isn't it? Yes, um, he's just missing one of his purple guns, but very unusual. One of the first times I've ever had them in 15 years. Yeah, they don't um, come on very so, often. Yeah. We've got the two reprobates from Star Trek. Street X, Street Shark, a swoop. Yep. I've actually got another swoop out of the back. That he came in the other day. Tell me about the other swoop Would you like well. me to go and get it? Yes, please, Nick. <laughs> There's more swoops! There's more swoops! Do you want to follow me with the camera? Yeah. Or the... Yes! <laughs> the Indie Man Swoop Scoop, that's nice. So here is Swoop's instructions. Now, I haven't checked this, but I have been very reliably told it's genuine. Um, so I will obviously do a bit of, um, you might, you'll know probably better than me. I'm starting to question whether it's question real or not. Because uh, they look, right. no, they he, the right. stickers are repro, I yeah. know that. His, his backstory of where they came from was believable. Um, and it also on the back of the wings looked like there was some wear and tear on them. There is, there is like where it's, it's not right. As soon as you open it up, you can see. If we go and compare, it just shows you how things can sometimes be not quite as they appear. Transformers timeline. This is what happens as a toy dealer. Occasionally, you buy big lots, you get excited, and then you think something's right, and then it becomes quite apparent quite quickly that it's not quite right. And I think that's what's happened here. Well, with someone like Swoop, he's usually broken. He's usually got a lot of wear and tear on him, especially the wings. Um, uh, the, the customer this came from did tell, did tell me it was repro stickers, so we always knew that, that part of it, but they did give me a bit of a background to make me sort of believe it was a genuine one. But it did come in a big lot. It doesn't owe me as much as it might do if I'd have just bought it in on its own, but. I need to check it. The telltale signs, if you ever see one and it's really clear like this, that's always a first danger sign because, and I know one of those things that normally they're yellow, but normally the age of them would suggest that they are, mm. they've got a bit of a funny color. Now, we need to spend a bit of time examining this. Paul at Spacebridge would know instantly, Paul would of course. Know at Space oh, exactly, he'd know straight away. I've seen knockoff ones before, and they've all stood out quite quickly. This one does not stand out quite quickly. We've now gone to a higher power, that is Paul at Spacebridge. Bad news. Looks like we're down to one swoop, as suspected. But you know, still one swoop. Oh, could have been two. I am uh, on the edge of my seat waiting for the big number. Right, so I've got 15 items. Um, it comes to 780, full okay. price. Um, what sort of amazing Nick deal can we get? Well, what about as a shoe? Um, like 20% off, so that'd be 100 and 56 pounds off. Amazing. Is that Thanks, all right? Mate. That's brilliant. That's awesome. Good. Don't forget, R2, to like and subscribe. Everything's down there. Click stuff. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've got toys. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It's a load of these zoids. They're new, but look how cool they are. I'm an idiot. 
Nick, thanks so much. Thanks, mate. Yeah. It's been Lovely brilliant. To see you. Lovely to see you, mate. You. See you, mate. It's been a good day. It has. Absolute cracker today. Unexpected. Because you've bought loads today. I bought loads today. So when I went to pick Toy of the Day, I was a bit like, oh, what am I <laughs> going to go for? And there were some obvious ones. And I picked Pretender a Finback. Oh, he's a good transformer, is he? Yes. You know, yeah. I mean, you just don't see them <laughs> over here. He's caught. Cool. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see the transformation. I'm looking forward to cleaning him up. What? He's great. And I haven't got him. <laughs> and I just liked him, Gav. That's why. I like this. But that's rubbish. As a transformer, I think rubbish. Although <laughs> I've just realised I'm mocking you. I've chosen this. <laughs> so basically, the conclusion of this is both our toys of the day are a bit rubbish. Oh dear. They're both a bit rubbish. The little commentator from Muscles. But he's really cute. And he has the nerve to mock me. <laughs> He has well, the he's nerve. Cool. He's just calm and collect. He's got his arm behind his back, his little microphone. It's, it's somebody... all kicking off in front of me. He's there just like, yeah. I did have this one when I was little. And in fact, over this trip, I picked up quite a few muscles, but this has been one that's been haunting me for a long time. I've actually finally managed to put my pretender back together. <laughs> Get me. I've already spotted like some really cool stuff. Mel's collectible. Sort out these transformers for a customer. Wow, seeing it now, I've, I've gone. Toy shop on tour. You talked about these laces yet? Yeah. Well, cool. I'm That's basically a, a fat ninja. On camera, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Stop 